some, both got some booze. Watch. We've learned so much from WikiLeaks. For example, Hillary believes that it's vital to deceive the people by having one public policy and a totally different policy in private. Here she is tonight in public pretending not to hate Catholics. Maybe you saw Donald dismantle his prompter the other day. And I get that. They're hard to keep up with. And I'm sure it's even harder when you're translating from the original Russian. <laughs> but if you were looking at some of today's headlines, you might have gotten the wrong idea. Fox News contributor Bernie Goldberg is in Wisconsin, North Carolina. With some of those headlines. Hi, Bernie. Let me give you some of those headlines, Britt. Uh, from ABC News, Donald Trump gets booed at Al Smith dinner after jabbing Hillary Clinton. From the Washington Post, at Charity Roast, Donald Trump delivered what might as well be a campaign eulogy. From the Daily Beast, Donald Trump, son of Catholic hater, disgraces Al Smith dinner. And from NPR, at Al Smith dinner, Donald Trump turns friendly roast into three alarm fire. Now, from that, there's a temptation to say the media detests Donald Trump anyway. That's no secret. A lot of the media do anyway. And they're out to get him. But Donald Trump, Britt, has this incredible knack for handing them the gun that they use to shoot him. It's one thing to say Hillary Clinton bumped into me and then said, pardon me. That's funny. That's a joke. But the one you played, where he says Hillary Clinton likes to deceive people by having one position in public and another position in private, that's not funny. That's not a joke. That's what you say at a campaign rally. So look, were the media thrilled to go after Donald Trump? Yeah. But you could make a case that he brought a lot of it on himself. It's also the case, though, Bernie, that you heard, I mean, I read repeatedly uh, as the dinner was going forward on Twitter and elsewhere that, that he had been booed. Um, I didn't see very many people reporting that she also likewise had been booed. You couldn't exactly. hear quite as well on that clip we played, but you could hear it. That's right. No, you're absolutely right. She also got booed. The, the, the one headline that got it right was in USA Today that said, Trump, Clinton, draw laughs, boos at Al Smith dinner. So they got it right that both of them got boos. But Hillary Clinton's boos were not as loud, and I'll give you two examples of where she got booed, okay? She says that uh, if Donald Trump is elected president, Barack Obama may not be allowed in on President's Day because of Donald Trump's ban on Muslims. All right, humor is subjective, but I think that's funny, okay? Another one where she said Kellyanne Conway, Donald Trump's campaign manager, may not get paid because she's a contractor and Donald Trump doesn't pay his contractors. Again, subjective, but at least it's a joke. Donald Trump, I mean, he has this knack for doing this. He crosses the line, he goes too far, and he gets booed. You can't, you can't dismiss, though, the venue. He's in New York City last night, where Donald Trump is lucky if he gets 10 votes on Election Day. He's there with the Hotsi Totsi elite, a group that never liked Donald Trump. No matter how much money he had, they might hang out with him every now and then, but he was never part of that crowd. If that dinner last night were in Dallas or someplace in Idaho, Hillary Clinton would have been the one who got booed, and Donald Trump would have, won, would have been the one who got a lot of laughs and applause. So that's, that's part of why he got booed louder and more often than yeah, Hillary and, Clinton. But, yeah, but you're right. Like, you're right. She did get booed. And there isn't, but isn't there a tradition at that dinner that the speakers get up and the jokes they tell, or many of them are on themselves, and it's sort of a night for self-effacing humor? It didn't strike me that either one of them was particularly self-effacing. No, that is definitely the, the general theme. But again, if either one of them was self-deprecating more than the other, Hillary was more self-deprecating. I mean, she told a joke about how how lucky the audience was because she usually charges a lot of money for it and how she took it and how she took a nap and all that. I don't think Donald Trump 
frankly, I don't think his personality is, is such that he's capable of self-deprecating humor, even on a night like that when it would have gone over so well. Yeah, no, that always goes a long way. Bernie, thank you very much. Thanks, and, Brent. You bet.